What's good YouTube? Amy here again with another Tom McDonald uh, reaction. This one is sober. This has been recommended by a bunch of y'all, so we are going to hit it. Um, it looks like he's at a NA or an AA meeting, and um, I'm excited about this one. But uh, before we get into the video, if you can remember to hit that like and subscribe button, we are on the road to 500. We are slowly making that climb. Uh, ultimately, we want to get to 1,000. But um, yeah, so if you can hit that like and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. I want to say thank you guys so much, and uh, let's hit it. Tom McDonald Sober. Ooh, love that bass. What up, y'all? My name's Tom. Little while back was an alcoholic. Mm. Had a mental breakdown like a year ago. Came close to putting me in a coffin. Ooh. Damn. After the hooker I loved. After I did all the drugs. After I finally got fired for showing up late to the job, hella tired and drunk. After the oxies, I put up my nose with my boss. On we'll, we'll run this whole thing back. So, Tom had an addiction with oxies. He shows up to work drunk and uh, on drugs, high, and gets fired for that. He, um... He almost died from his addictions. Looks like he, it's when he hit rock bottom. He's a year sober here. So let's hit this back. I love that first intro, that right there. Mm. What up, y'all? My name's Tom. Little while back was an alcoholic. Alcoholic. Had a mental breakdown like a year ago. Came close to putting me in a coffin. Wow. Damn. After the hooker I loved, after I did all the drugs, after I finally got fired for showing up late to the job, hella tired and drunk. After the oxies, I put up my nose with my boss on the oil rigs when I was young. After my ex cut her wrist and the cops that I. Dude, he's doing oxies with his boss on an oil rig? Uh, isn't that a, like a really dangerous job? You don't want to do that high, man. He really had addictions. Tired and drunk. After the oxies, I put up my nose with my boss on the oil rigs when I was young. After my ex cut her wrists and the cops that I stabbed her and beat me and put me in cuffs. After I totaled my car. Dude, you've had a life, man. Your your ex tried to kill herself and they blamed you and, you and you got beat up by the cops for that. That would be scary. That would be traumatic. I'm gonna run this whole thing back. What up, y'all? My name's Tom. Little while back was an alcoholic. Had a mental breakdown like a year ago. Came close to putting me in a coffin. Damn. After the hooker I loved. After I did all the drugs. After I finally got fired for showing up late to the job, hella tired and drunk. After the oxies, I put up my nose with my boss on the oil rigs when I was young. After my ex cut her wrists and the cops that I stabbed her and beat me, then put me in cuffs. You were after I totaled my car trying to run from the cops with a kilo of coke in a trunk. After I drank till I rotted my teeth on my head, got infections and all of my gums. After I Dude, you had a kilo running from the cops, told of your car, your gums were all infected. Bro. A coke in the trunk. After I drank till I rotted my teeth on my head, got infections and all of my gums. After I couldn't get hard because the vodka and porno sedated me till I was numb. After I couldn't escape from the basement I rented and went to go live with my mom. Ooh. After I cheated on people I needed and lied trying to hide from the guy that I was. Then I got sober, the madness was over. Now I am proud of the man I've become. <laughs> See, I, I love when people overcome addiction because they're just a different person. There's so much depth and so much genuineness and they get it. They get the struggle. And I love that he comes clean. I mean, you know, I've done some some horrible things in my life, you know, that I'm not proud of. Um, I've never had a battle addiction. I haven't gone to these extremes, but I don't know if I'd ever share them on a public platform like Tom does. And I, I just give him kudos for that. That is so cool. That is so cool. Because this is going to save a lot of people's lives. This is going to help a lot of people. I needed and lied trying to hide from the guy that I was. Then I got sober. The madness was over. Now yeah. I'm proud of the man I become. We're proud of you too, Tom. I'm finding someone that I know again. Is that Nova? She's beautiful, by the way. Proud of the man I become. Yeah. I'm finding someone that I know again. Great harmony. I started climbing out the hole I'm in. Fighting demons and I know I win. Yes, fight those demons, you'll win. It's for me to mend these broken ways. Life has been hard, I know it gets better. Mm. This is a war that I'll fight forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh we are scars. We all have scars. We all have battle scars. We've all gone through stuff, but 
there's just again another level uh of just I don't know what the word is. I just I just have this awe, this respect for those who overcome addiction and really overcome it. And and because you've gone through a battle that many um, have gone through, and you've gone through a battle that many have not gone through. And there, I just man, I got so much respect for you, Tom. What up, y'all? My name's Mad Child. I've been Mad Child for a while now. I was waking up feeling suicide. Mad Child, <laughs> dude, he looks scary. He looks like he would kill you in an instant, but. His voice is so nice. He looks so. He sounds gentle, but he but he looks scary. Uh. What up, y'all? My name's Mad Child. I've been off to Zanny's for a while now. Good. I was waking up feeling suicidal, but I think I'm finally starting to smile now. Man, uh. I lived a hell of a life. You've lived a life, huh? What's his thing? Says something assault, lyrical assault. Scorpion. Um, so he was suicidal, and now he's getting past it. He was on drugs. He was. He's gotten. He's in obviously rehab here, and he's he's getting past that now. I know that you'll fight your demons for a while, but um, I'm glad that you're in sobriety too. Um, let's kick you this back again, and let's hear what you have to say, Matt Child. What up, y'all? My name's Mad Child. Hi, Matt. I've been to Zanny's for a while now. I'm Amy. I was waking up feeling suicidal, but I think I'm finally starting to smile now. Man, I lived a hell of a life. Did you? I've been to hell and back twice. Twice? Lost $10 million through different addictions. Don't tell me about paying the price. Now, that's a bar, and but that's sad. So you said he's been to hell and back twice. He spent $10 million on drugs and addiction. Um... Don't, you know, don't tell me I haven't paid the price. He's literally paid the price. He paid $10 million on his addictions. I mean, that is crazy. That's a whole lot of money to spend on addictions. And the fact that you're still breathing and walking and you're able to share your story, uh, which tells me you've overcome that, just kudos, Matt Child, kudos. Um, I don't know anything about you, but I might have to look you up and see what your story is too. Um, kicking this back just a little bit. It's suicidal, but... Ten million dollars, bro. That's a lot of money. I think I'm finally starting to smile now, man. I lived a hell of a life. Yeah, you I've been did. Hell and back twice. Lost ten million dollars through different addictions. Don't tell me about paying the price. Ooh. From penthouses with top models, hanging with strippers with pop bottles, You're anxious and hiding alone in my room from the world that was pissing in pop bottles. From oh, see, he's talking about the highs and the lows. The, you know, I'm I'm in the top of the world. I'm with strippers. I'm with models. I'm living what the what the world calls the dream, but the but it's it's a mirage. It's fake, right? Because behind the scenes, I'm I'm filled with anxiety. I'm I'm the bottles that I'm popping in champagne. I'm peeing in those bottles, and oh wow, that's the real life of addiction. That's what it's really like. It's it's it it's got the mirage of a, it appeals to you, but it really isn't appealing. Paying the price from penthouses with top models, hanging with strippers with pop bottles, You're anxious and hiding alone in my room from the world that was pissing in pop bottles, from chart top and being a role model to flop records and lost follows. When I cop product got a month's worth, when I left the spot, cops followed. We saw Ooh. a photo, it was only face, cause I was 85 pounds overweight. Mm. Mental breakdown, trying to catch a plane. Wasn't mad, child, I was only Shane. My Ooh. puppy Lola was my only gang. Had to put my baby in a grave. I walked away. Oh. So, there's a lot here. I mean, this, I'm sorry you lost a child. That's, that's so brutal. But he says... I went from being on top of the world, having these hit records, to a lot of followers, to where really I lost everybody. I only had one person in my corner. I lost my child. I lost all the follows. One person is all I had. It went from the top of the world where everybody loved me to being absolutely alone. Um, again, the mirage of fame and success, it's, it's a mirage. The months were it's when I left the spot, cops followed. We saw a photo, it was only face, cause I was 85 pounds overweight. overweight. Mental breakdown, trying to catch a plane. Yeah. Wasn't mad, child, I was only Shane. My puppy Lola was my only gang. Had to put my baby Your in puppy. a grave. I walked away from every brick I laid so I could build a new wall to keep me safe. See, that's another thing. So, we talk about this and, and um, about, you know, cause I've done this in my life where. I was so hurt by people and actually hurt by the church um, many times. And I am a pastor of a church now, which is which is the irony of that. But, um, you know, I, I would build up these walls. I would lay these bricks to, to because I, I picture my life like a like a delicate flower, you know, and, and everyone looks at this flower and they want a piece of it. And so they would pluck this piece of me and this other piece of me. And it, it became painful. So I, I built this wall to separate me from the, the people and it, it, it would 
this wall um, really it helped. It helped stop the pain, but it also blocked out the sunlight. And this wall that I used as a wall of protection became a wall of, of it became a prison because now that the sunlight's blocked because of this wall, I'm growing weaker and weaker and weaker, and I can't get out of this this cell that I put myself in, and uh, it ends up being more painful. And man, I can relate. Oh, I can relate to this. Uh, and bro, I'm sorry you lost your child. That's brutal. Put my baby in a grave. I walked away from every brick I laid. That's so my I worst build fear. A to keep me safe. I'm finding someone that I know again. I started climbing out the hole I'm in. Good. Climb out of that hole. Fighting demons and I know away. You're gonna fight those demons and win. It's time for me to mend these broken ways. Yep. Great chorus. Scars will always be there. One of the things that that I love about my faith, and again, um, I know not everybody's there, and that's that's just where you're at. That's totally cool, but. It's been said the only man-made thing in heaven will be the scars in Jesus' hands and in his in his feet, in his wrists and in his feet. Um, because scars are with you forever, you know? And um, Tom's got some scars. I mean, a lot of us have scars, but the fact that that you heal from them and you still have the scars and are living just shows that you, you're an overcomer, man. I, wow. Wow. And Nova's got a great voice. We all fall down. World's closing in. Yep, the world pounds on you. You can get up. Yes, again, you can. Up again. Life has been hard, I know it gets better. This is a war that I'll fight for. It's a banger. This is another one that's going on my playlist. Beautiful. Wow, wow, good job, Tom. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for pouring out your heart. Thank you for being real. Thank you for um, allowing others who are going through the same battle to to have someone who's on the other side of it, even though you might be, even be wrestling today. Um, I don't know if you are or not, but I know addiction, it never really goes away. It's always a battle. It does get easier, but then there's seasons where it's harder. Thank you. Just thank you. Um, wow. Coming from a liberal, um, <laughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Again, guys, we're on the road to 500. So if you can hit that like and that subscribe button, I think I'm going to put them everywhere all over here so that you can <laughs> find one of them and like them and subscribe. Um, it would really be a blessing to me, guys. Thank you so much for the recommendations. If you have any more recommendations of Tom McDonald or any other artists you want me to check out, um, please throw them in the comments and I will be grinding and get into them as soon as I can. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye.